Well, first there was Black Friday, then Cyber Monday, and today may be the most important of all. That would be Giving Tuesday. Keely Arthur has a look at how charitable organizations in our area plan to use your generous donations. It's the season of giving, and what better way to get in the holiday spirit than to help right here in our area? We checked out four local charities, including Santa's Without Chimneys. We bring holiday cheer directly to homeless and highly mobile kids, no matter where they are at Christmas time. Making sure each and every child gets a visit from Old St. Nick on Christmas Eve. This year, Santa's Without Chimneys is planning on giving a toy, blanket, and a book to at least 500 kids. One of the unique things about our program is kids Kids get to request what they want, and we do our really best to give them exactly what they've asked for. Over at Henry Vila Zoo, it's our furry friends who need your attention. The zoo is hoping to raise more than $10,000 so it can do things like purchase a new rhino after the beloved George passed away earlier this year. Since we have an admission-free zoo in town, we're very lucky to have that as a resource for the whole community, and we're just hoping that people will pitch in on Giving Tuesday and help us out. Madison for Kids also needs your help so it can continue supporting children and child-based organizations in our area. We are completely volunteer driven, so there is no paid staff. Every penny that do is donated to our charity goes right back to our community, our local kids to be healthy, to be educated, to find confidence and to be inspired. Trust the cookie. Last but certainly not least is Geo's Garden, a nonprofit that provides respite care for kids birth through six years old with special needs. Organizers are hoping to raise more than $12,000 to purchase vehicles so kids can easily get here, supporting families of all kinds. We have a lot of families that are low income or don't have transportation or rely on public transportation that just aren't able to get here. And of course, these four groups are just the tip of the iceberg. Nonprofits in our area, like the Dane County Humane Society, the hospitals, and the United Way, are all looking for your help. In Madison, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3. And for an extensive list of the charities in our area and how to donate, just go to our website, channel3000.com.